Hi everybody! <laughs> Whoa, Leo and I are back today to do a uh, a little craft with me, and I think I'll make this my Tracy Fox Design Team project. Hi, Tracy. Um, oh, here he comes, because I have all kinds of little stuff around. So, what I wanted to use is Tracy's new urban kit, and uh, she said somewhere that she, this was inspired a bit by Leo and I. So it seems appropriate that Leo should be in the picture in the frame, as they say. Um, so look how cute these are. Like, I really love these. And you can, she includes um, some tag forms that you can use to spruce up and make tags in an envelope form. I'm sorry, but what can I say? Leo, the best. Oh man, darling, that's gonna be a problem. Can you see where he's laying? He's just right here with his little paw. Okay, darling, you try and stay there. And I'll work around the tripod. I've got this in case I want to um, do some tags for the inside. So I'm using the new Urban Kit. What I did was I printed it on vellum because what I love about this is that it really replicates the look of a real pressed flower. And I thought, why not play with some of these envelopes that I have? I purchased these recently and I will put the name of the shop below can't remember it from the top of my noggin at present. Uh, and I just coffee stained them. Um, little trick when you're coffee staining, you might want to flip this up. Don't let this touch any surface because it will stick to that surface. So there you go. And actually for what I'm using these for, <laughs> I should have done this. I didn't know what I was going to use them for. I'm going to cut that off anyway. So we'll go with that. I hope you're comfortable there, bud. I hope you're comfy. So my thought was we would make like a, use the new Urban Vellum uh, kit that I printed on vellum and then I sewed around them just for more texture. You don't have to do that, but that's just something I thought I would do. And look how pretty that's going to look. Just on the cover there, like so. And then I thought we could make cards out of, um, he's laying on the paper of these uh, beautiful new um, botanical plates that Tracy has as well. So I thought that might be kind of fun to do. So I'm just going to, it's quite dark here because it's been rainy again. And um, once again, a shout out to all of the folks in Alberta who are struggling with those wildfires. Um, gosh, I hope you're safe, I hope. You get some rain. I hope all of that subsides soon. All right, so you're going to want this kind of envelope or any kind of envelope that you have with a window. Um, and you could do this on something without a window as well. Uh, but this is what I'm thinking we'll do. Uh, you're going to want some sort of ephemera to put inside. I even uh, used my whale's tail punch and made some little um, tabs. Thank you, Leo. And uh, you'll need some glue and some ink. And I brought, I have some embellishments just in case. I really don't know whether I want to embellish or not. So let's see where we go with this. And you can tell I haven't been using my glue today. As if just now removing the goobers. The gloobers. Oh gosh, sorry. Just trying to get that off my finger. Easier said than done. So the first thing you're going to want to do, glue all over me now, is I'm using a Fabri-Tac because it's clear. Um, you could use art glitter glue, the clear kind. I don't have the clear kind. Um, art glitter glue freezes uh, in transport, so you have to get. Uh, there are many people who will not sell it until it's warm enough outside, which I think is actually very responsible. Um, I did order some in the wintertime from another seller and it came absolutely, <laughs> it was, it looked like a hot dog when I tried to get it out of the thing, like it literally was completely, uh, solid. So, too funny. So this is what I'm thinking and you can see my finger back there, but let's see if you can see like when you put a picture behind. You can see the picture through the vellum. So why don't we, you 
can tell I'm just kind of doing as I do. Um, let's, well, let's put this one down as well. And I'm going to put it on the envelope this way, cut it so that I have a an opening on a different side so I can use it in a different, at a different angle in a journal. So we'll do that like so. And I'm just going to put this in the center of that frame, like so. I'm going to cut this off. And hope you guys are all doing well. So these would be side tucks. And then why don't we do one that's a top, a top tuck. And I'm just going to cut this like this. And so what that would mean is one of these, so here's a cutie on vellum. And if I put that there and then cover this part of the window with some sort of decoration, that might be kind of cool too. So we're gonna we're gonna try that. So we'll try and do all three three varieties as we go. This one here, like so. Awesome. Okay, so we've got three envelopes ready, and we'll decide what we want to do extra with those. I wanted to just glue this onto my cardstock. Um, these onto my cardstock craft cardstock that I'm using as the base for my tags and I'm just going to go over like so. I can see through, I'm not sure you can, that I've got the image, um, the light is shining through it so I can see it enough that I know where to place the glue. I think, I think, set that there like so. So we glue it on like that. I actually need another do another couple. And I'm just going to cut up here. And we'll glue these as well. Here we go. So you've been having some crazy weather down in the States as well. I was seeing on the news there were some tornadoes and um, yeah, I just hope you're all safe and well, and that your families are safe and well. That's, that's, uh, it's tough. I don't know what's harder, being someone who's in a circumstance where there's uh, tragedy and, and challenge, or being the person who's not in it, waiting to hear from family. It's really hard to tell, for sure. So, I'm just going to cut those. These are my goober scissors. So these are scissors that have already been uh, affected by glue, as you can tell by looking. I need to, um, or I, I need to clean them. I definitely need to clean them, but you know. So I'm just eyeballing this. Uh, and I also need to see whether or not that's going to fit into the envelope because I haven't checked. Yes, that should. Okay, let's do this. Sticking to my scissors. So there's two. These are beautiful images, Tracy love them. I've seen, have you seen her mushrooms in butterfly kits as well? Those are really nice. I've got those. Um, I'm actually just waiting for ink. I ran out of ink and I'm on one of those programs where uh, my provider, which is HP, I have a, an Envy printer, um, 
and HP sends uh, sends it. The my my printer tells HP she's getting low, and so they then send it. But the challenge is, <laughs> um, I got the notice that they were sending ink, and then that was a day I was printing like a mad woman. So um, I have no ink now. So hopefully it'll arrive in the next couple of days. But in the meantime, I'll just play with things I've already printed out, which is not such a bad thing, right? So I apologize for inking. I know some of you find that immensely boring to watch. <laughs> I probably am not stimulating a great deal with my conversation this morning, but oh well. It's all good. All good. Okay. So let's just see. I'm almost done with the inking. Let's just do the three and then if we need the fourth one, we'll, we'll do the fourth one later. Oh, I know what I, I want. I need a couple of tags, I think, or I'd like to have a couple of tabs. So this is what I do. I ink around the tab like that and then I fold it in half and I just ink both sides. So we'll do a couple. and fold it in half like that. Okay, there we go. That's it for now. And you can tell I'm dropping, I'm dry, oh boy, I need to do, I need a new sponge. You know, I'd probably still be using that same sponge since the beginning if it wasn't for the fact that I'm doing tutorials and I, sometimes I get a little embarrassed by, my, <laughs> I get embarrassed by my, the state of my uh, sponge, okay. So this is what I thought I would do, is I would put a tab on this cute, whoops, this cute um, piece of ephemera, this botanical ephemera. Sorry, I'm just moving strings out of the way. And so the idea would be that it would go, this would go in your journal, you would glue it on maybe three sides or two sides, and then it's a tuck spot in behind if you want it, and then this will go in like that. And you can see the flower in the background, just the ghost of it, and I'd have that sticking out like that, which I think would be cute. I mean, you can leave it just there, and this has got this on this side, so I want to put the tab on that side, on the right side. So, Get the glue going. Lay that on its side and then it'll be easier for when I need to use it. And then I'm just gonna set that there, like so. And then that would go in here on this side, like that. And you can see, like I said, the flower in the background, which I thought would be really cute in a journal just as is. And it kind of gives you that look of pressed flowers on an envelope. Um, we may do some decorating on that. Let me move this out of the way a bit. We may do some decorating on that. I'm just going to set those there. But this one, I definitely want to do something to cover this part over here. And, um, sorry, I'm still trying to get some stuff off my fingers. So, I didn't know, oh. So, you know, we could put, we could put like this cute flower. Isn't that pretty? I like that. We, if we glued that on there, then that, that kind of does the trick for us. I'm just going to cut it on the bottom, like so. Um, yeah, I like that. Why am I why am I inking when I want to glue? I don't know. I get nothing. You'd think it was a Monday the way my brain is working this morning. Oh well. Oh well. So we just put that there. And I think that looks really cute. And then I'm just gonna ink around it. 
my gosh, I just see a fox going across my backyard. There you go. Tracy, <laughs> you just went across my backyard. Oh my, that is funny. Okay, so that is cute, cute. So this would go, I would use this as a pocket in my journal. And then I would set this cutie pie down like that in the pocket. Isn't that cute? And then you could put a second one in the pocket as well if you wanted to. Gosh, I like that. Actually, I really like these when they're inked, so that's going to happen. Let's ink it and then decide if we want to put another floral on there or not. So yeah, you can see where you could, there's no reason why you have to use the whole envelope or not the whole envelope, the whole envelope window. You can cover part of it. Nobody needs to know. It's all good. That is really cute. And then I'll do this one as well, but I think it's not as straight as I'd like it to be. There we go. You could even put some mini labels, like print your labels off, your Tracy Fox labels off smaller and put those on here. That would be kind of cute as well. All right. So let's decide whether or not we want to um, put anything else on these. I like having that poking out the side. So, sorry about all this mess. Okay, do we want some more flowers? Just look and see what I have in here. These are just flowers that I've, I've, uh, Uh, pulled out. That one kind of encroaches a bit more than I wanted to. Oh gosh, that's pretty. I think we could put this one over here because it doesn't cover up too much. What do you think? And there's no reason why I can't tear a little bit more off here. Okay. Let's do it. Excellent. Trying not to put that cap in my mouth, you know. You know that secretly I want to do that. So that is really sweet, I think. Now let's see if I have any more that are narrow. I didn't do my homework and pull them out. <laughs> the narrow ones for us to use. Um, that's a bit better, isn't it? Because, I don't know, it's fighting that angle, though. It wouldn't be if I do this. I'm just going to reconstruct the bottom of that flower. And now, I can do it straight. Awesome. Awesome. So, put my glue on the back, and for this part you could use a glue stick or, you know, whatever suits your fancy. I just happen to have the fabric tack here for this part. So that is adorable as well. And you could put a grommet here and then hang something off it, which would be really, really cute too. Um, let's see. How are we for time? We're pretty good. I was just wondering about some of these words are really nice too. And she's got these beautiful um, pansies on here as well and, and uh, forgot forget-me-nots. And so you could cut those out as well for whatever you're working on. So this is lavender, and I wonder about just putting lavender down here, and I'm going to put floral on the other one, I think, and then 
botanical. We'll cut them out and then we'll decide. Okay. So I apologize. I know I probably look awkward in my cutting here, but I'm I am working around a tripod like a goof. So I'm gonna just ink around that edge a little bit more. And we'll decide whether we want these on as well. Kind of like maybe putting that one up there. Okay, let's see. Lavender. We want it up here. Kind of balances that. If I put it here, it seems heavy on the bottom. So I'm going to put it up at the top. That's how I get rid of my strings. I just flip them. <laughs> so cute. And I could have I could have just torn it out, torn around and then inked it again, <clears throat> which might be might have been a good option as well. Tracy's kind of done that work for me here. She's already inked around the bit that was torn. Botanical. Yeah, I don't want to encroach on that beautiful pink flower. And I want to just have the word like that. And floral. Did we decide, better decide where we want it first? Floral. Floral. I think I like it on the bottom better on this one. I don't know why. But best not to best not to argue with my instinct there okay so that's floral yeah there they are um, maybe I'll just think around this last card that we did because it can go in that little envelope like they were made for each other. I don't know if Tracy was thinking that at the get-go or not, but two little cards in here and you could put you could put a tab on the top. Let's do that on the top of one of them. Seat of the pants crafting. <laughs> uh, fold it both sides. I promise I will change that uh, that sponge. I think I have some more. If not, it'll go on my list of things I need to order. Okay, I'm going to put it on this one because there's more space at the top of this image than there is at, at the top. The other image has more floral activity going on. If you see what I mean up here. So we're going to set this guy over there, I love that you can see that leaf. And then we're going to set this guy, sorry, in the back of that envelope, maybe a little higher. And that's how I would put it in my journal. I would just glue here, 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 like the three sides. And that way you might have a tuck spot in the back, or you could glue the whole back in. On this one, I might do that. So that is super cute. I don't know if you can see all the details. Love that, Tracy. I love these. Uh, really versatile. And then this one that's lavender. And uh, that I would put in my journal. And I would just glue here and here. And then I'd have a tuck spot in behind for whatever, for example. If you glued it on those sides, then you can tuck something in behind it. So that's lavender. And then this is floral. Beautiful flower in the background. Uh, and depending on where I place them in the book, I may put an eyelet and then hang a charm or a piece of sari off it. I'm not sure which is my favorite. I think they're all really, really cute. Super happy with those. 
thank you guys for watching thanks for joining me give them a whirl um check out tracy's new urban kit i think it's awesome i'll link to the two kits that i used uh, in case you're interested and i will try and remember the link to where i purchased these little envelopes as well on etsy thanks guys thanks for watching i hope you're having a great day enjoy your family enjoy your weather <laughs> regardless it's all great thanks again take care Bye.